explain. So right now they are drilling holes for our electric. Ah! So it's a pretty big step because this means all the other kind of contractors have. Uh, there's people here. Oh, they broke some branches. That's fine. Stuff is happening. Yeah, Stuff is happening. Look, those are our poles. Those are our poles for our house. Wait, are those the old ones? I'm gonna have to park right here. <gasps> Look at them go. They're everywhere. Yeah, oh. they're all the way up there. Oh. <laughs> it's an invasion. This is just so nice because. I mean, this whole time, y'all know, there's been like not a whole lot happening aside from foundation stuff and behind the scenes work. So to see, I'm putting my shoes on, to see people here, like, it actually makes me feel like we could do this. And at the same time, we actually just finished the engineering plans. Which so, we haven't, I haven't even seen those yet. Uh, yeah, they don't look like a whole lot. Like, it's not actually a picture of a house on stuff you know what i mean it's it like all, a blueprint isn't it? it's like a blueprint yeah, yeah that's fine cool I'll see um, you later. oh this is awesome so they're replacing our current some of our current poles right so they're replacing one current pole that way and then they're putting in two new poles and guidelines there's one over there there's one back here Ooh. we'll have electricity at our house today Ooh, like the the wires are going up and everything yeah the wires are going up there. well they may finish tomorrow they're probably gonna finish tomorrow. So with this, um, we're still gonna have to call the electrician to put in our, our box, like a temporary box. Which all they do is just put like a little base and a two by four with a box on it. And then that will eventually place that panel on the house. Uh, but for now, that'll do just to get the uh, contract contractors out here working. The next step for me is to put up some remaining um, footings that we have to do that uh, were suggested in our plan, which is fine. It's like two more well there's already currently four holes i'd dig another one so five and there's i think some other like we can put some other foundation in if we want to we can do that later i don't know there's pier and beam is really loose it seems like every contractor i'm like like usually most situations they have to get in before a lot of stuff this one they're like you're so high off the ground like you can do almost all the work and then like the plumber can come in later and do all kinds of stuff the electrician can come in whenever um, it just seems kind of like loose, and so it's kind of neat, but at the same time, I, I understand that it's not the most ideal foundation, but it's still a foundation. So, so how much does all this cost? The electric? Yes. How much has it costed to get... Costed. Costed. How much has it... It's just hair. Yeah. Well, yeah, I need a haircut. <laughs> how much has it costed to get them out here? Uh, this cost... So, there's a couple routes that we can go. I think I, said, I talked about this briefly. So, we could have gone the route where everything's underground, and that's 7,000 just to run the lines, and that's without digging the, the, the trench, which we found out it's just entirely rock back here. So, that would have been a lot more, like another four or 5,000. So, like 12,000 in all. We actually did this for, I'll say a little over 4,000. So, three new poles. We're only paying for two, because one is like a existing that they have to replace anyways. So, that's on them. So two poles um, and some guidelines. So, yeah. So mainly it's those two poles and, and the transistor that it's going to be going um, where it's splitting off of another line over here. So four thousand and some change. Four thousand four, four thousand six, something like that. Um, yeah. Our first bigger expense, the septic, on the other hand, will be probably our biggest one-time cost. Even over the roof, I think. I'm so excited. Because okay. we're, we're doing a septic system for two houses. We'll get into that later. So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm just so happy to have something something going in. You know, like it just it just makes it feel more real to finally like to see other people here doing stuff. So we'll keep you updated. Yeah, 
You see yourself? <laughs> She's still waking up. Yeah. Uh, well, me too. Let's see. Do you see this rock? Look at this thing. Look how big that is. Wait, that's one rock? That's one rock. All of that. They pulled that out. <gasps> Whoa, how deep is that? Yeah, I know. Um, here you go. Pull that side. Just like rotated around. I mean, oh yeah, that's big. That's not that deep. It's pretty deep, but that's it's not pretty that deep. deep. It's too hard to see on the camera. Here, I'm just gonna drop the camera down real quick. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know. That's wow. that's uh. I mean, that look at that. It looks like there's cement around the edges. It's like an eight foot hole. Yeah, I know. Well, that's all rock. They got through rock for eight feet, and then <laughs> I'm gonna show this. <laughs> And then we tried to dig that. <laughs> That's how far we got. <laughs> and then come look at this thing too. So do you know what a guideline is or whatever? The, or what this is for? I think they said guideline. A smaller pole? That's uh, it's a little, it's this right here. So it's a little piece of metal sticking out. And what it does is it holds the pole back like it creates tension oh up here. yeah yeah and yeah, so that it can span that... all the way over there i don't know if they dug that hole yet i think uh, maybe they just called it I think there would be... but yeah this hole is even like i don't know i mean like another eight feet or so oh i guess there's like there's a water bottle down there come on guys what trash in our place seriously some pretty hefty poles look at these things Compared to our old ones. I've never stood on a telephone pole before. Well, today's your day. Get it? Like, stood on top of it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's, uh, like, it's less impressive than, yeah, right. It's supposed to be like a whole Mulan effect. Yeah, it's it's not as effective. He was just concerned. <laughs> it's like, like tar, yeah. Hmm. But things are being oh, done. What is it, Eva? Mm. Yeah? Mm. What do you hear? I have to cover that back up. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Look! Baby! <laughs> Hi, buddy! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and what do we call her? Elmo? Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so day two. Oh my gosh, there it is. That's the new pole also right there. Yeah, I'm playing her. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, can you get around him? Yeah. Wow, there it is. Oh wait, there's the other one. Yeah, that one's a... Whoa. That one went fast. Oh look, that's how they're doing that side. Wow. Uh, I think they're gonna be done pretty quick here. Yeah, they look like they're almost done. Alright, so this does actually feel pretty good. Um, we have the, we have something in the ground. Well, besides the, uh, of course, the foundation being in the ground. Uh, we actually officially have power. We have electricity that's going to our house. Well, it's, uh, we'll call it pigtail. There's a pigtail hanging from our, uh, our pole over there. And, uh, being stared at by a deer. But, look at this. Well, there's the sun. But, that's a new pole over there. This is a new pole. So of course, it has to be right next to this being our road. And it spans overhead over 300 feet. 
to where our house will be. If I can get it to focus. Sorry, guys. Yeah, either way, that, that's uh, that's where the house is going to be, over that way. Three new poles on this side, one new pole, you know, for my parents' side. And uh, this giant rock, which is pretty cool. Look at that thing. It's that big. I mean, that's like three or four feet worth of rock. All right, now. I'm feeling a little threatened. Are you a new pet? Oh, hello. Hey, hey. Wait, why aren't you scared of me? Oh yeah, you know that. Huh? What? What? Huh? All right, get out of here. Leave me alone, I'm filming. So, uh, we have that done, and while that was actually going on this week, we also got some uh, some changes from the engineer, uh, being that we actually have plans. So the plans were not acceptable by, by my <laughs> needs. Uh, basically, I mean, they could have figured this out. Um, they put the house on the current foundation just a little bit off six inches to a foot somewhere right around there either way they required me to put in another 25 piers i'm i'm not about to do that that's a lot of work so what i'm going to do is shift the house over i know i'm dark because of that sun back there uh, shift the house over we're going to move a few walls. Uh, the master bedroom is actually going to be kicked out a little bit more. I am going to do five piers for the master bedroom because I do want to keep that space as, as large as possible to be able to fit a king size bed. So I will do that work. Um, I'm going to fit, like basically start digging the holes uh, this next week, maybe two weekends from now. I don't know, somewhere between that time. And so uh, that's going to give us a little more room for at least the bedroom, uh, not anywhere else really. It's actually going to reduce our room for a couple small spots. Overall, we will be getting uh, a bit more um, space, but not too much more. And uh, we should have the final plans by maybe Wednesday of this next week, so pretty soon. And then we can start uh, actually bidding out the lumber and the rest of the contractors. So that's where we are. 